why being busy doesn't always mean you are getting things done. You might assume just because you or someone else is busy that you're getting many things done. This couldn't be further from the truth. Just because you're busy does not mean you're being productive. Oftentimes, when you're busy, you're just moving around frantically, hopping from one activity to the next. When you're being productive, you are really focused on one thing and will not stop until that thing is done. In this tutorial, I will go over the differences between being busy and being productive. I will also discuss how to stop being busy and start getting things done. What does it mean to be busy? When you're busy, you have a full schedule. However, some of the tasks really might not be important. If you're not prioritizing tasks, you could be stuck doing mundane things all day long without really accomplishing anything. You might be working long hours when you're busy. But often times you are working hard and not smart. This means you are not going about the tasks as efficiently as you could be. When you are busy, you might feel the need to be good at all the tasks, even the ones that are not important. When you are truly being productive, you focus on being good at a few things and letting the rest of the things go. How to stop being busy. So, how do you stop being busy and start being really productive? Here are the best ways to organize your tasks. Step one: the first step you need to take to combat unnecessary business is to prioritize tasks. Make a list of the tasks that are important and urgent. These tasks need to be done right away, and they are important to your goals. These tasks are also not out of your control. For example, paying the rent is an important and urgent task. When you have the money to pay rent, you need to do it as soon as it's due. This allows you to avoid late fees and not be tempted to spend the money on something else. Step two: You can then make a list of the tasks that are important but not urgent. These tasks need your attention now. However, they are less important than the tasks you listed in step one. Some tasks might be ensuring you exercise, making a list of your goals, going over your checklist, or anything else related to your personal development. Make sure you do these things. As you might be tempted to put them on the back burner since they are not considered urgent. Step three: These tasks in step three are urgent but not important. Urgent tasks might be getting back to phone calls from the night before for your business. They might be responding to social media comments if you are an influencer or someone that works in social media marketing. Step three can be hard for a lot of people because they focus more on just getting their work tasks done rather than focusing on themselves. Step four: These are the last tasks because they are not urgent or important. They are things you might enjoy, though, like online shopping, catching up on your favorite TV show, or reading a new book. These tasks are crucial at the end of the day because they allow you to have time for yourself that is not focused on work or other people. This is a time for you to recuperate for the next day. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by All Super Info.